there's something about a classic walk-up or drive-in ice cream place. In southern Indiana, most of them are only open three to five months out of the year, and they serve up some of the best ice cream and fried food you can imagine. The place just says, we're all about good times, not so much about diets. Chillbilly Treats at Madison, Indiana, with its classic architecture and neon lights, has all that going on and an interesting history. It began life as the third burger chef in Indiana in August of 1957. This lasted two years. It then became 16 other restaurants after that, before becoming Chillbilly Treats. The outside retains that cool 1950s vibe. You can get all kinds of ice cream, sundaes, floats, freezes, as well as burgers, hot dogs, conies, fish sandwiches, and pretzels. Can you feel the love? Because I can. There are picnic tables so you can sit and enjoy. Or you can walk across the parking lot and down those calories next to the Ohio River. I went with the footlong coney. If you've never seen these before, it's a 12 inch bun with a hot dog and chili. It should be no surprise that this much happiness is going to be messy, and it is. And then there was the banana split. I'm pretty sure the founding fathers of this great country had this thing in mind when they put the pursuit of happiness in our constitution. Well, that escalated very quickly. Chillbilly Treats, situated along the Madison waterfront, is definitely worth a stop if you're like me and calories are not something you worry about. About everyone in America knows Dairy Queen, but not everyone has experienced a classic one. One that's been around for decades and still has its original signage and charm such as this one at Austin, Indiana. It has the Dairy Queen treat you've had all your life, but it's more than just soft serve ice cream and some topping. It's a place to gather with friends and family on a summer day, pick a table and just enjoy the moment outside. Or, Enjoy ice cream in your car. You do what makes you happy. As the sun goes down, the neon and nostalgia bring back an era of an unrushed time. And as you travel to any of these classic ice cream places, you'll find that it's a common theme. Along with the fact that your scales are adding more and more numbers after each place you visit. Zesto of New Albany has been around since 1951. It was once part of a large dairy bar chain. The original building was smaller than it is today. When the franchise headquarters went out of business, it was purchased as an independent in 1966. However, in 1996, the road was widened at the original location and it had to be torn down. Luckily, a new building was found and the familiar neon signage was saved. There is a lot to love here. Soft serve, 
floats, freezes, slushies, shakes, malts, vortexes, sundays, and more. We are going to have fun here. But wait, there's the signature sundays. The main hot food is hot dogs, chili dogs, nachos, barbecued pulled pork, and grilled chicken sandwiches. These are some of my favorite chili dogs in Southern Indiana. I'm a big fan of their pulled pork barbecue. I also tried a strawberry shortcake sundae as an opening act. Then a banana split and could almost hear the belt around my waist begging to be loosened. Like magic, it was gone. No matter what you get, you really can't go wrong. As the sign says, it's good. So good in fact, that they added a second Zesto location in Clarksville. And there are multiple franchises under the Chiller's name. Without a doubt, Zesto is a place you're gonna like, even if your waistline doesn't. Polly's Freeze has been a Georgetown, Indiana staple since 1952. It has the largest parking area of any walk-up or drive-in dairy bar in Southern Indiana, and for good reason. It is all the stuff you want. There are picnic tables on the deck and on each side of the building, or you can eat in your car with your besties. This is where all your noble diet plans are going to be crushed. Polly's has an extensive ice cream and grill menu that is amazing. You could eat two frozen menu items a day from season opening to close and not get through the menu. And then all the hot food your cardiologist warned you about. Corn dogs. Polly burgers. Chili dogs. And my personal favorite, the porkette, which is a tenderloin that tastes like it was cooked in butter. It is happiness between a bun. This banana boat uses strawberries and peaches and is my favorite frozen treat here. As night falls, the neon retro magic begins and your calorie counting ends. This is the place to bring your sweetie. Enjoy a summer breeze and make a fond memory of your battle to lose weight. Polly's Freeze, a Georgetown classic since 1952, and simply a must stop. If you take Indiana 64 west from Polly's and go underneath Highway 64, it will take you to Lazy Sundays. It has been many different restaurants over the years, but retains the classic look and feel. It has been called Lazy Sundays since 2018. There are picnic tables in the front and back, and they have a drive through They have just about every variety of cold food you can imagine and have put a novel twist on the classics. And for hot food, they have everything from fried bologna, burgers, chili dogs, corn dogs, chicken, tenderloins, barbecue pulled pork, and gyros. 
You can even get a Greek salad if you're into that kind of thing. Even the sides are amazing as they offer onion rings, fried pickles, mushrooms, chili cheese fries, and hummus with pita bread. If you're even 30 feet away from this place, you will smell the awesomeness. This is the tenderloin. Super good corn dogs, like you'd get at the fair. And my favorite, artery clogging weakness, barbecue pulled pork and onion rings. This dessert has warm apple pie on the bottom, covered with ice cream, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Very tasty. In my hands down favorite dessert, their version of a banana split. You will hate your scales tomorrow, but love this thing today. I guarantee it. Drive here at night and you'll get that classic neon vibe. And awesome food, all summer long. You know, we can exercise more in the fall if we want to. Lazy Sundays is truly one of my favorites, and my waistline proves it. If you keep driving down Indiana 64, you will cross 135 at New Salisbury and discover the next amazing find called Dairy Dip. You can sit at tables outside or servers will come to your car, but unlike the other dairy bars, it has limited seating inside, a very popular carryout business, and is open year round. But what intrigued me the most was the mention of Potpourri Pizza, but this place has so much more. They have all the usual suspects, sundaes, malts, shakes, freezes, floats, but also burgers, barbecue, chicken strips, chili dogs, corn dogs, fish, shrimp, wraps, bowls, soups, salads, and many sides to choose from. They even serve breakfast. They did not skimp on the chili dog chili, and that's how it's supposed to be. Onion rings were excellent in barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sandwich, well, it was pretty great. But I had to try the potpourri pizza. As they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. It is a flavor bomb. I then went for the banana split as the Widowmaker. Dairy Dip is a big surprise in a little building, one that you won't soon forget. Norma Jean's at Borden, Indiana is not that old. In fact, it only started back in 2016, but it is every bit as worthy as the others. Named after grandmother Norma Jean, it has burgers, fries, conies, onion rings, ice cream, which pretty much covers my food groups. And when the open sign is on, it is a happening place. Unless you're a vegan or vegetarian, you will find something to love here. I got the foot-long chili dog, and the chili was excellent. But here's a solid warning. You are going to wear this home, period. This is a guarantee. But just like lipstick on your collar after a date, it is worth having to scrub out. They have dull pineapple whip, just like the fair and Walt Disney World. And yeah, that brought me a whole lot of joy. I love that stuff. They have excellent banana splits. They also have Wisconsin hard ice cream, 
and some intriguing flavors that beg to be tried. At the top of that list is Fat Elvis. It is sweet banana ice cream, all shook up with a salty peanut butter ripple and rich chocolate chips. And once you get a load of that, you'll say to yourself, thank you, thank you very much. So good that it requires a disclaimer. The sign says, nutritional information, don't even ask. This is the best ice cream made in Wisconsin, and it tastes so good because it has gobs of rich Wisconsin cream, tons of real ingredients, for boatloads of luscious flavors. That means it's not low fat, low calorie, or low anything. And that's why everyone loves it. You want nutrition? Eat carrots. Norma Jeans of Borden, Indiana. Oh yeah, you know you want to be here. Walls Drive-In is all the way down at Canelton, Indiana, along the Ohio River and Indiana 66. And as the sign says, it's the home of delicious ice cream and the Big Square Burger will sign me up. This is genuine retro going back decades. It has all the fan favorites. You can order at the window or drive through. Either way, your scales will be heavier tomorrow. I started off with the legendary square burger. But what blew me away was the chili dog. This is one of those really good bakery buns with a thick beef hot dog and wonderful chili on top. My only regret was that I didn't get two of them. The strawberry sundae was very good. Look, you can be thin or happy. Coming back at night, the 1950s vibe is definitely here. Walls Drive-In, a true retro classic that's worth a road trip. Going further west on 66 from Canelton will take you to Tell City and Frost Stop. When I learned that there was a Frost Stop at Tell City, it brought back 1970s memories of when there was a Frost Stop in my hometown. It was even the same tan and brown color. But on the day I found it, in late August, it was closed for the season. You can bet I was coming back the following May. At night, the place has a definite retro vibe, like stepping back to the 1970s. You can imagine kids in bell-bottom jeans, classic 1970s bands, playing on car radios, maybe even meatloaf. Okay, there was no meatloaf, but they did have chili dogs and a thing called a pizza burger. If you've been watching from the very beginning, you should know I was totally in. The chili dog was split down the middle, covered with chili and cheese, and had a lot of flavor. But the pizza burger was a giant surprise. It's a pork tenderloin with marinara and mozzarella. It tasted a lot like chicken parmesan. But the most surprising thing about Frost Top is that they don't have ice cream sundaes. They instead have cones and cups in vanilla, chocolate, and vanilla chocolate swirl. They also have shakes in vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, cherry, blue raspberry, root beer, and dreamsicle. I went with a dreamsicle shake, and let me tell you, it was almost exactly like putting an orange dream sickle filled with vanilla ice cream in a blender. And who would not like that? You don't stay in business for decades 
without having something that people truly love. And with fried mushrooms, onion rings, fried pickles, and mozzarella sticks on the menu, there's a 100% chance I'll be back with very loose-fitting pants. Further west on 66 is Fat Daddy's at Grandview, Indiana. With a name like Fat Daddy's, I already knew it was my kind of place. Burgers, tenderloin, chicken, barbecue, fish, chili cheese dogs, corn dogs. Yes, yes, and yes on the bottom line. And check out these sides. Finally, a place that understands my needs. If the menu was a woman, my marriage would be in trouble. There is so much to love here. There are many tables here to sit back and enjoy the loss of your gym body. I started off with the Coney Dog. It is hands down one of the best I've ever had. Great bun, chili, thick all beef frank, and the melted cheese is like a warm hug. I then tried the barbecue pulled pork. It comes in both small and large sizes. The small is officially called a little butt. I am not making this up, but there was no way I was saying, hey, I need a little butt. Well, mister, if you need a little butt, you're eating at the wrong place. I instead said, I'd like a small barbecued pulled pork. I ended this love fest with a strawberry sundae that was every bit as good as it looks here. Fat Daddies. Sometimes a name says all you need to know. Jiffy Tree at Bedford, Indiana was a special destination. In business since 1948, it was where my parents grew up and where my mom spoke finally of driving there with her brothers to get ice cream. And yet, as a family, we'd never stopped there. We were always in a rush to see grandma or to get back home as we lived nearly two hours away. So after 53 years of not knowing, I was excited to see what it was all about. It has a drive through in the back and lots of seating in the front. Believe me, the only way I got pictures of empty seats was because it was a holiday. The menu is overwhelmingly huge. As of 2022, Jiffy Treat has been in business for 74 years, and the selection has grown to epic size. They have 60 different types of cyclones, in addition to sundaes, malts, floats, shakes, you name it. They have chicken, all kinds of sandwiches, chili dogs, barbecue, Mexican, and tons of sides. They even have salads. And it is busy from open to close. There are now Jiffy Treats at Bloomington, Ellettsville, and Linton. I went with a pulled pork and Coney Dog. Both were good. But perhaps the best thing was the banana split. After 53 years, I finally knew what Jiffy Treat ice cream was like. It was wonderful. And as day turned into night, 
I finally knew what so many customers already knew. This place is so much more than ice cream. It's memories, cleverly disguised as an ice cream place. Bomax at Shoals, Indiana has been around since the 1950s and ran by a local family since 1960. The sign says shakes, sundaes, root beer and sandwiches, but believe me, it's got that and more. They also have the giant Indiana tenderloins that are the stuff of legends. There are plenty of tables outside, a jukebox in the corner, and from open to close, it will be busy. You will need to get here early if you don't want to wait. It is definitely a local favorite. Kids get out of school, parents get off work, and this is the place to be during the week, and especially on the weekends. If you want, you can just pull up to the curb and someone will take your order. But you have to admit, the neon lights above the tables, it adds something. I went with fried mushrooms and onion rings. The chili dog was just as messy and tasty as it looks and was my favorite. I finished up all this decadence with a banana split. The strawberry sauce was the best I ever had. It's easy to understand why everyone loves Bomax and has for over 60 years. It is totally worth any workout you have to do later. The tradition of walk-up drive-in ice cream places is still strong in Southern Indiana, but most of them have something in common. They aren't open year round. Most open from March to May and close between August and October. And when they close, you have to wait for that barbecue, ice cream sundae, or whatever it is you love for nearly half a year. And very frequently, when kids go back to school in the fall, the places go to weekends only. Whatever the case, visit these wonderful mom and pop dairy bars while you can. It's a challenge to keep going with only a few months of sales each year. Columbus, Indiana's legendary Musalamis, established in 1957, closed its doors at the end of 2021. And an empty parking lot can't begin to tell how great it was. Classic local favorites enjoyed for decades are now gone. And only memories of pizza burgers, ice cream, and root beer floats remain. A classic New Albany Dairy Queen closed their doors a long time ago. Some of these places have been converted to flower shops and other businesses, like this one at Galena, Indiana, that looks like a former frost top. It's unclear if the Curvet at English, Indiana will open its doors again or if the parking lot will ever be filled with people. Wanting a piece of nostalgia and uniquely American food. But if you take yourself, a few friends, or your family to these awesome places, an American tradition lasts just a little longer for new generations to enjoy. And you know, it might just be the sweetest thing 
you've ever done.